Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Combs Family Channel. Today, I'm going to be recreating a recreation of Brenda Sue's chili. Only this time, I'm going to be cooking it in a crock pot because I wanted to show my viewers that if you don't have a large family or just want to make a small batch, this is how you can do it. So, a, a crock pot, it, if I have to eat it by myself, it usually takes me about three days to eat, eat it all. And that was a, a can of tomato juice. So, that's that. I needed to get me a spoon, I didn't do that. But I got one here. So, now I'm gonna put the tomato paste right in the crock pot. You probably could have used a smaller can of this because this is probably that's probably a lot for a crock pot but this is what I already had so this is what I'm going to use and this will really thicken up the tomato I was trying to stir that without touching the sides of my crock pot because I don't know if that metal spoon will scratch it or not this is a can of uh, chili beans can of kidney beans. I might should have just used one can of each but I already opened them so I'm going to use two cans of chili beans and two cans of kidney beans. That right there is all the beans I think this is going to need. Because I'm going to fry this two and a fourth pound pack of hamburger to put in the chili. And I'm going to cut me up two onions in my skillet. I'm going to put a tablespoon of oil in there and I'm going to fry it on the stove. But I'm going to get that ready and I'm going to pause and I'm going to get back to you. Alright, I'm ready to start cutting up this onion so I can fry it. And I'm using this big chef's knife. Michelle she sharpened it for me last night. We went to Walmart and we got one of them Pioneer woman uh, knife sharpeners. And so that's what I used to sharpen this knife with. And it's done a really good job before it was smashing the vegetables instead of cutting them but now it's cutting right through there no problem so i always thought that was a handle right there 
But you're supposed to uh, put your ve your vegetables can go right in there. You see that? See what I'm doing there? Some of them are just going off the side. But anyway. That's got that onion down it. Right here is another small onion. I had three onions and I decided that I was going to put two in the chili. Sandy, our dog, she's outside and she's scratching at the back door and she's making me nervous because I can hear her scratching. Some of them pieces are probably a little too big, but I'm going to fry them up real good, so they'll get soft and tender anyway. Well, shoot, I, I used the wrong side. Oh, well. Anyway, we'll catch you in a, a second. Here we are at the skillet. I'm getting ready to Put my onions in there. That's just two small onions. use this plastic spoon to stir them around a little bit because I don't want any metal hitting this non-stick pan. All right, well, we're going to let this fry a few minutes and we'll get back with you. All right, folks, I brought you back over here to the crock pot because I forgot Brenda Sue's most secret ingredient and that's ketchup she puts some ketchup in there she just kind of eyeballs it so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to eyeball it and she puts ketchup in there they give it a little bit of sweetness so um, so that's what i did i Put me some ketchup in there. And I did that before I browned my onion and hamburger because I knew if I didn't put it in there now, I would forget. So, there it is. Alright, we're going to go back over here to the skillet. Alright, we got these onions almost translucent and I'm going to uh, add the hamburger so that it can be frying as well so There we go. I just bought this yesterday and it's never been frozen. That's two and one fourth pounds.
Put the lid on it there. And we'll get back with you in a few minutes when it's good and brown. All right, folks. I'm still browning my hamburger. But I came over here to my crock pot because I was going to add my seasoning. So right here I got some good old great value chili seasoning mix. I'm going to put a, two packets of that in there because it's supposed to be one packet per pound of hamburger meat. So I'm going to just put it in here in the chili. That way it'll, it'll taste like chili, not just meaty tomato soup. All right. And then I have this dark chili powder. And I am going to put one tablespoon of the chili powder in there. I had to wash and dry this off because I used it a while ago to measure my oil in the pan over there. So, I'm just going to put one tablespoon of the dark, the dark chili powder to give it a little bit of a kick. So, well, we'll get back with you in a few minutes. We'll add the brown hamburger and the onion to the chili. All right, we got our hamburger drained. Michelle's going to put it in the pot for us. Don't want to leave any of the goodies behind. I want to move, uh, move the camera to where you can see and let her incorporate the hamburger yeah incorporate the hamburger look at that beautiful bean footage fyi i do not own the copyright of that phrase <laughs> anyway i got my camera all jacked up so i'm going to have to fix it and i'm going to Get back to you in a minute. All right, folks. We got everything going. And it's probably going to take another couple of hours for this to come to a boil and cook off. But that's how uh, we done it this time. We hope it's really good. Michelle, she's going to shred some cheese for us here in a few minutes. Like she did last time. Uh... And some sour cream. Sour yeah. cream and, and cheese to go in the chili. Yeah, I might add some sour cream to mine to thin it down a little bit because I probably should have used a smaller can of tomato paste because we gave it a little taste test a while ago. And it's a bit tomato-y. It, it's a bit tomato-y. I could have used a smaller can of, of tomato paste, but I think it's going to turn out good. We're going to have a good meal here in a few minutes. Uh, we thank you for tuning in and, and joining us today. We'll catch you next time. Bye! Bye.